Hey, what's going on everybody? So if you're here, chances are your fridge is making this sound or similar. I'm gonna go around back. It gets louder. When we open the freezer and the fridge, it stops, right? Yesterday, I tore apart my refrigerator and went looking for the fan in the back thinking that there was ice. But in this model, Samsung, which I've linked in the description, uh, just put in the description, is totally different from the twin cool. The all around cooling, uh, the evaporator and the condenser and all of that stuff that I needed to look at apparently is in the freezer. Um, so I've never done this before. So you're gonna learn with me. We're gonna take everything out of the freezer. We're gonna take the freezer door off somehow. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do is see if there's a panel to remove and see if there's any ice I can get out of there. And we'll go from there. Kind of similar to when I took the uh, heat shield off of my Subaru Forester. We're all gonna learn together. Okay, so if you're not sure what your model number is, it's gonna be on the inside door, okay? And I've got mine right there, it's listed there. So in this model, French doors, and we have the below the refrigerator freezer. So what we have to do is get this top shelf off, okay? Logic is telling me. Get this insert out, okay? And then I'm thinking we have to get this door off because, I mean, I'm not a big guy, but I don't think I can crawl in there and get to work. Uh, I might go viral though for doing that, so we'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's get that started taking apart and we'll go step by step and get this uh, disassembled. Yeah. All right, so that part, you just, you just pull it right out. There you go. All right, so this part here can be a little confusing. Um, I'm just gonna show you how it works. So first, you can't lift straight up. There's a little lip here, so up, up and back slightly. Now when you get to this part, it's almost like it doesn't fit. It feels tight, but it will slide up, all right? Just be confident with that. Now, if you are feeling like it's too tight or you're nervous, whatever, it's your first time, don't be nervous. You can open the doors, okay? It gives you a lot more space. Just come right up through here, all right? Also, you should check out another video I have where I show you how to remove this troublesome shelf. Um, super simple. Anyway, back to the freezer. Okay, for this next part, there's four bolts that we have to remove from here. So let's just take a quick look. We have two right here, all right? And then there's gonna be two directly across from that. Um, I don't have a 10 millimeter size uh, head for my impact driver, so we're gonna use this. And yeah, you know, I'm just gonna take these off like that. All right, so we're gonna take all four off. Then we should be able to take off the door. I got the bolts off, so come on in real quick. Good news is you can do this yourself because there's these two clips here or like hooks that are holding the door in place. So when you take the bolts off, you're not, your door's not gonna fall off or fall on your feet, all right? So logic tells me, and maybe I'm completely wrong, that we just lift this door off. You're off on this side. Came That's off here, no problem. We just wanna do the same thing. There we go. You just pop it off. Now you got your door here. Just put it somewhere you're not gonna lose it, all right? Okay, so now we got the door off, right? We're in here. You're gonna wanna take this ice maker off. Otherwise, you're not gonna get this panel off. And if you wanna keep, just use a Phillips head, Phillips head screwdriver, or if you have a long enough bit uh, on an impact driver to pop it off. I just don't have a long enough extension up here. I know how to eat. Kiwi. Yeah. All right, so like that, it pulls forward, pops off. Remember that when you put it back together. And then in here, um, there's gonna be this little clip. You just push it in, pull it off, all right? One of these guys. All right, so that's off. Now we're gonna pop this off. Okay, so since I'm not a, an appliance repair person, my knowledge is kind of limited. So I'm gonna keep this open, just like the, the freezer door is open, so the fan is off. And then once I get the panel pulled off, then I'll push this in and we'll see what kind of noises we're getting from the fan, all right? Okay, so now I got the, the screws off from the side of this panel. There's just two of those, right? One here, one there. And you can really, just from here, pop it, all right? It's gonna come off, 
There's a connection it makes with the fridge up top. Um, no screws or anything. Now, your connection is going to be right up here, okay? So if we want to test this fan, just to kind of see what sounds we're getting, it has to stay hooked up over there, all right? And the way to do that is just to swing it out this way, which is why we took off the ice maker, okay? So now, all right, so it's been about, about a minute since we killed the camera. You can hear it again, right? Real loud. Okay, I want to replicate that. I want to replicate that sound. Hear that? We're gonna do it again. All right. And so, what my knowledge and my internet research here has told me is that the fan motor is bad. All right. So, I'm thinking next steps here. Well, I'm gonna go online, see what this costs. And my next step is either replace the evaporator fan, which will be a whole other video. But for right now, if you're having that noise and you're not finding any serious condensation and like frozen stuff in the back, your problem is going to be your fan, I think. So take a look at that. Make sure you take a look at that subscribe button, hit that as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.